interesting thing is back in the old days, orchestras would go on tours and they would stop at every little town. And I grew up actually in a very small town in the southeast corner of Iowa. And the Minnesota, what was then the Minnesota, actually Minneapolis Symphony, that's now the Minnesota Orchestra, came through town and played a concert. My parents took the kids to the concert. I was probably seven years old. And I heard that orchestral sound. And I saw the oboe player sitting right in the middle of the orchestra. And I wish I knew what repertoire they played because I remember hearing the oboist play and something about that sound really spoke to me. And so you go from a kid in the middle of nowhere who hears something that transforms them and then the journey began and I became a professional musician and I've been playing in the Pittsburgh Symphony now for 27 years. I'm ready for an adventure. And I started my musical life working and living in Mexico. And in many ways, I think that Mexico was one of the most interesting years of my life. And thinking of bookending my working years by having another similar experience really got me excited. In addition to that, classical music is riding such a wave in Asia and in China. And to be part of this swell of love and appreciation, not only for performing this music, studying this music, learning how it works. I'm so thrilled to be a part of that. Yeah.